Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the amalgamation chapter. Now this is the video number 7 and in this video we are going to solve this problem which is amalgamation in the nature of merger. Okay, so far we have solved two problems of amalgamation in the video number 5th and 6th. Yes, and those were amalgamation in the nature of purchase. Now here we are going to solve this problem which is amalgamation in the nature of merger and we are going to see what is the difference. Alright, okay, so now let's start. See here, here is the question, let's go through it. X limited absorbs Y limited for a consideration of rupees 20 lakh to be satisfied in fully paid equity shares of rupees 10 each. So here we come to know that this X limited company has taken over or it has absorbed this Y limited. So now this Y limited will lose its existence. Yeah, Red Cross. This company will die. This company will get liquidated and this company is called as transferer company or what? selling company and this X limited will be the transferee company and this X limited has to pay purchase consideration to Y limited. Yes. And do we have to calculate PC over here in this question? No. PC purchase consideration is already given here. See here. Consideration of rupees 20 lakh to be satisfied in fully paid equity shares of rupees 10 each. So this is lump sum method. The PC is already given in the question. Yeah. Lump sum. It is paid at once. See here. 20 lakh. Yeah, but it will be paid in the form of equity shares of rupees 10. Yeah, discharge of PC. How it will be paid? It will be paid in form of equity shares. Understood? The owners of Y limited, the equity shareholders will get equity shares of X limited. Okay, so how many shares does X limited has to give? See, the amount is 20 lakh and the shares they are going to issue is of rupees 10. Alright, so just divide that. 20 lakh divided by 10. See here. 20 lakh divided by 10 that is equal to 2 lakh shares they are going to issue 2 lakh equity shares to the owners of Y limited fine yeah so this is what now let's come back to the question see here the balance sheet of both the companies on 31st March 2020 were as follows so we have been given a balance sheet see here two balance sheets are there two columns right one of X limited and another of Y limited same with the notes also X limited Y limited fine so now let's go through this balance sheet yeah let's see what is there see here first we have got share capital note number one equity shares see here only equity shares are there no preference shares right so if we are closing the books of y limited the company which is getting liquidated then we don't have to open the preference shareholder account yes okay so yes we have equity shares there and then reserves and surplus see here note number two in reserves and surplus we have to see what reserves are there so we have got general reserve yeah 8 lakh 1 lakh 50 development rebate reserve export profit reserve so now you see here these two reserves development rebate reserve and export profit reserve these two are statutory reserves the reserves that are created in the company because the law or the statute or the act tell the company to do that yeah so these reserves have to be exactly created in the new company but here we are solving this problem according to the merger method so there it's no issue right everything is you know taken over by the new company yes we'll come to that later then see here surplus profit and loss account we have got surplus also here six lakh three lakh fine so that's reserves and surplus and then see here current liabilities are there trade payables 10 lakh 10 lakh yeah no note is there so fine and then come to the asset side see here in the asset what do we have fixed asset tangible asset yeah intangible asset note number three so we have got assets over here premises plan and equipment furniture their values have been given and then see next current assets inventories trade receivables cash and cash equivalent so here see here inventory stock is there five lakh three lakh trade receivables note number four trade receivables sundry data and bills receivable are there three lakh two lakh two lakh one lakh fine and then cash and cash equivalents bank is there bank balance two lakh and one lakh so see here this is the balance sheet yeah it's very simple so now if you are facing a problem with this vertical balance sheet then don't worry whatever problem we have solved in the previous videos we did with the horizontal balance sheet the question came in horizontal balance sheet yeah and i talked about the opposite sides although there yeah so here you may find difficulty while posting in the realization account don't worry we will come to that don't worry okay see here in red ink note development reserve and export profit reserve are required to be continued so now this sentence is given to tell you that these are statutory reserves 
understood so what are they asking close the books of y limited yes we have to prepare the ledger accounts only ledger accounts we have to close the books of y limited the company which is getting liquidated and we do that by the realization account and everything yeah yes we are going to do that and then second question see here pass journal entries and draw a balance sheet of x limited so now here they are asking we have to pass the journal entries in the books of transfer e company the new company x limited and also draw the balance sheet after the amalgamation after the absorption yeah under merger method see here specifically they have said this is merger method so merger method is very simple we take all the assets and liabilities at the book values and we add them together it's very easy let's solve this problem now let's solve this problem see here the first requirement that we have got is close the books of y limited y limited is the transferer company the company which is getting liquidated yes so we have to prepare only ledger accounts it's very simple there is only one method to do that yes we have to use the realization account and close the books of y limited it doesn't matter in the books of transferer company whether we have got amalgamation in the nature of merger question or amalgamation in the nature of purchase question because this amalgamation in the nature of merger and purchase who gave it to us accounting standard 14 gave it to us right these two methods purchase method and merger method and they only apply in the books of transfer e company they don't apply in the books of transfer company here there is only one way to close the books of y limited yeah simple gap rules we will use and we will prepare the realization account and we are going to reverse each and every item of the balance sheet that's it yes it doesn't matter in the books of transfer company whether we have got amalgamation in the nature of merger or purchase it only matters here where accounting standard 14 applies fine okay just wanted to clarify that so now how do we prepare this ledger accounts how do we close the books of y limited realization account right and we have to reverse each and every item from the balance sheet yes which company y limited company we have to reverse each and every item of the balance sheet of y limited yes so see here how do we do that whatever that has debit balance we have to credit that and whatever that has credit balance we have to debit that that is how we reverse each and every item of the balance sheet yes to hame kya karna hai hame puri ki puri balance sheet of y limited khali karna hai yes we have to make the balance sheet of y limited empty cancel each and every item of the balance sheet and close the books of y limited the transferer company so see here it's very simple for that we are going to use the realization account a nominal account yeah just like a profit and loss account so what are we going to do is we are going to take all the incomes here and all the expenses here yeah nominal account rule so now here see here what do we do hame balance sheet khali karna hai puri ki puri balance sheet khali karna hai and i told you that just like the horizontal balance sheet here also we are going to consider liabilities are on the left side and assets are on the right side okay liabilities assets that's how you are going to think okay and what are you going to do you are going to dump first all the assets of y limited whether taken over or not taken over dump all of the y limited assets on the debit side of realization account okay see here we are considering asset side as a right side so these are on the right so now you are going to pick them up and put them in the realization account on the left side opposite side yes that is what we do in the ledger accounts cross postings yes so see here let's do that tangible asset first we have got tangible asset note number 3 we have got three type of assets over here premises plant and equipment furniture yes 14 lakh 10 lakh 1 lakh so pick them up from the right side and throw them on the left side debit side of the realization account premises plant and equipment furniture 14 lakh 10 lakh 1 lakh simple okay then what you are going to do then you are going to go to the next asset see here current assets we have got inventories over here stock yes it doesn't have any note number because this is only one asset here right so 3 lakh is there this is on the right side pick it up throw it on the left side yeah on the debit side to stock 3 lakh simple then go to the next asset we have got trade receivables 3 lakh sorry note number is there so note 4 sundry debtors is there and bills receivables are there right so how much 2 lakh and 1 lakh pick them up yeah from the right side put them on the left side two debtors two bills receivable 2 lakh 1 lakh the book values you are going to take all the assets and liabilities from the book value okay from the balance sheet at book values whether taken over or not taken over you are going to pick them up and throw them in the realization account okay simple yes that is what you are going to do right see here trade receivables you got that cash and cash equivalents bank how much 1 lakh 
yeah so pick it up 1 lakh from the right side throw it on the debit side simple 1 lakh yeah so you have got all the assets dumped in the realization account abhi tumne kya kiya pure assets khali kar diye from the y limited balance sheet yes and one more thing you have to be careful about is the bank if the bank if the bank balance or the cash is taken over by the transferee company the new company then only take the bank in the realization account otherwise you don't do that but here this is amalgamation in the nature of merger in merger method what happens every asset every liability all reserves are taken over by the new company that's the condition right so if it's a merger method everything has been taken over so that is why i took each and every assets okay even the bank also but these asset don't matter okay whether taken over or not taken over you have to dump them in the realization account to reverse them yeah and add the book values whatever values they are there in the balance sheet fine right only thing you have to careful about is the cash or bank take it in the realization only if it is taken over by the transferee company clear okay so you dumped all the assets assets sare khali kar diye from the y limited balance sheet then what do you have to do then you have to see here you have to go to the liability side equity and liability side right so now go to the liabilities see what liabilities you have current liabilities trade payable only one liability is there yeah and you consider this as left side yeah liabilities and assets fine so now here 10 lakh is there yeah 10 lakh trade payable is there pick it up yeah pick it up from the left side and throw it on the right side by trade payables 10 lakh at the book value only simple you have to take all the assets whether taken over or not taken over except cash you have to be careful about cash i told you right and liabilities also whether taken over or not taken over take all the liabilities to the opposite sides of the realization account fine got that okay and then what do you do and then the next thing is abhi tumne kya kiya asset ko khali kar diya liabilities ko khali kar diya right now you are left with the what shareholders funds the share capital and reserves and surplus now whose is this share capital and reserves and surplus share capital see here equity shares whose equity shares are these equity shareholder to ye equity shareholder ko jayega reserves and surplus who have right on reserves and surplus the owner of the company right the shareholders the equity shareholders general reserve development rebate reserve export profit reserve pnl ye sab kiska hai ye sab equity shareholder ka hai so what you have to do is you have to open equity shareholder account in equity shareholder account also the same thing dump the items from the balance sheet in the balance sheet you have got share capital how much 15 lakh yeah 15 lakh of y limited yes 15 lakh pick it up this is on the left side throw it on the right side by esc by equity share capital 15 lakh and then you have got reserves so pick all the reserves general reserve development rebate reserve export profit reserve yeah this surplus profit and loss surplus how much is it 3 lakh yeah 1 lakh 50 50000 2 lakh 3 lakh all at the book values that is what happens in the merger method everything is taken over at the book values and here also we always use book values book values book values book values book values everywhere book values right so now you pick up all the reserves and throw them on the opposite side of the equity shareholder account by general reserve by development rebate reserve by export profit reserve by profit and loss account everything at the book values simple and then what do you do and then go back to the realization account okay abhi tumne kya kiya you have emptied the balance sheet sab kuch balance sheet se khali ho gaya right now you have to go to the realization account in the realization account what do you do see here you have to take the purchase consideration over here you are getting purchase consideration from the x limited yeah the transferee company this company has to pay purchase consideration to y limited and i told you this is a what nominal account like a profit and loss account we take all the income on the credit side so purchase consideration is an income so who is going to pay that income yeah by x limited yes we are getting purchase consideration we are getting that income from the x limited yes we are preparing in the books of y limited you have to think from the point of view of transferer we are going to get y limited is going to get pc from x limited so it will come over here by x limited account 20 lakh purchase consideration simple okay and then nothing is there otherwise what do we take in realization account if some assets are not taken over we sell those assets over here by bank if some liabilities are not taken over then we pay those liabilities to bank yeah we do that but in this question nothing is there yeah 
this is just an introductory problem for merger method yeah so now we have to close the realization account and one more thing if there were preference shares yeah then we had to open preference shareholder account and then close PSH account first preference shareholder account first and then transfer the balance to realization and then close the realization yeah that's what we do if there are preference shareholders first close the preference shareholder account then the realization account and then go to the equity shareholder account so now here there are no preference shareholder account we can directly close the realization account see here it's very simple let's balance this account yeah so what do we do take all the debit side yeah see here 14 lakh plus 10 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 3 lakh this side looks bigger right so that's why i'm adding this side 3 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 1 lakh that is equal to 32 total is 32 lakh and on this side so on the credit side we have see here 10 lakh and 20 lakh now this is not there right see here minus this subtract that 10 minus 20 so the balance is how much 2 lakh and 2 lakh balance is coming on the credit side so that is what that is loss because the expense yeah think from the point of view of profit and loss expense is more than the income so this is what this is loss by equity shareholder account this loss will hit equity shareholder account okay 2 lakh simple so you have to transfer that loss to the equity shareholder account see here opposite side cross postings by equity shareholder account here it will be to realization yeah come back to the equity shareholder account yeah in equity shareholder account we have dumped the capital equity share capital and the reserves over here yeah by taking them from the balance sheet now what we have to take is we have to take see here this cross posting to realization account and this what is given to equity shareholder account come back to the purchase consideration calculation what have we given to equity shareholders equity shares only right yeah to equity shareholders what is given to equity shareholders have got they have got 2 lakh equity shares of how much of 10 each so they have got 20 lakh worth of equity shares so that is what we have to take it over here they have got two equity shares equity shareholders have got equity shares of worth 20 lakh simple we have to take the pc there I mean what is given to equity shareholder account that is what you have to take if cash is given you have to take cash like that yeah then close that account it's very simple let's close this account equity shareholder account see here add up 15 plus how much is that 1.5 right 1.5 lakh yeah 1 lakh 50 thousand yes and 50 thousand so that's 0.5 plus 2 lakh plus 3 lakh yes that is equal to 22 lakh so 22 lakh is the total and then subtract that see it balances if any balance comes in the equity shareholder account then you have to take it as cash okay but here there is no balance this tallies okay it tallies see here 22 lakh 22 lakh here also 20 lakh and 2 lakh it tallies but if it doesn't tally then you have to take the balancing figure as cash fine okay then what you have to do then you have to open the transfery company account yes transfery company account x limited account in x limited account what do you do is you take the cross posting from realization account see here purchase consideration by x limited is there so we are going to take two realization purchase consideration how much 20 lakh simple yeah cross posting yes and then you have to show the expansion of this purchase consideration ye purchase consideration kis tara pay kiya gaya hai it is paid in the form of equity shares right we know that in the question only it is said that see here to be satisfied in fully paid equity shares of rupees 10 each in form of equity shares it is going to be given to the Y limited so simple equity shares mein diya hai, take it buy equity shares agar cash mein dete hai, suppose 10 lakh cash mein 10 lakh equity shares mein dete hai, yeah if it was given like that 10 lakh in equity and 10 lakh in cash then you should have taken buy equity shares 10 lakh buy cash 10 lakh like that just show the expansion of purchase consideration fine so this account will always tally right okay then what do you have got then you have to take the bank account in bank account you have to take cross posting from all the accounts yeah so see here it's very simple bank account two balance brought down yeah two balance b by d first we have to take how much money is there in our bank account in our bank account you can see in the balance sheet how much balance do we have in our bank account in our bank account in the books of y limited right we are preparing in the books of y limited so one lakh yes so two balance b by d one lakh and then you have to take the cross posting from all these accounts but here cash is not there because cash is not paid right in purchase consideration and here also cash is not there because there is no balancing figure in this account but here there is cash cash oblique bank same thing yeah so two banks see here one lakh is there do the cross posting here two bank 
here it would be buy realization account simple cross posting yeah that's all there is close the bank account one lakh one lakh and bank account always have to tally if it tallies then your answer is right simple right so this is how you have to close the books of y limited dump all the assets dump all the liabilities at the book values you just have to be careful about the bank balance but since this is merger method you don't have to worry about anything you have to take directly bank also because in merger method everything is taken over and then here you have to take the purchase consideration with the name of transfer company and then balance this account if any balance comes on the debit side that's profit if any balance comes on the credit side that loss and profit or loss both will hit what equity shareholder account dump the capital in equity shareholder account opposite side i told you that and reserves also dump the reserves all the reserves yes and then whatever that is given to equity shareholder account as a part of purchase consideration take it over here to equity shares to debentures to cash to bonds whatever is given yeah and then take the balance from the realization account whatever profit or loss to the equity shareholder account yeah and then if any balancing figure comes on the debit or credit side it would hit bank account it will come to cash or buy cash balancing figure okay so that's how you have to do and open the transfer company account here you show the expansion of purchase consideration yeah ye purchase consideration kis tarah payment kiya gaya hai in what forms and then open the bank account and the bank account is just cross posting from all the accounts and it always tallies simple as that right so this is how you have to close the books of y limited each and every item of the balance sheet has to be reversed cross posting karna hai sara kuch cancel karna hai right remember left side right side okay now let's do the second requirement that is pass general entries and draw a balance sheet yeah now let's see how to pass the general entries in the books of x limited the transfer company right so now here you have to think from the point of view of x limited yes because you are preparing the books of x limited simple now here this question is amalgamation in the nature of merger yes merger method we have to use so it's very simple see here the general entry the first general entry that you have to pass is the purchase of this company we x limited has purchased y limited and it has paid this purchase consideration of 20 lakh yes but the first entry the first general entry would be of making purchase consideration due we have to pay purchase consideration to the person who is going to liquidate this company called as liquidator so the entry would be very simple see here business purchase account debit 20 lakh we are accepting that we have to pay purchase consideration to liquidator so entry is see here business purchase account debit 20 lakh yeah we have purchased the business and we have to pay to liquidator our liability is increasing to liquidator of y limited account 20 lakh simple that's the first entry being purchase consideration due the second entry is see here the second entry is taking over all the assets and liabilities being all assets and liabilities taken over see this entry here what you have to do since this is merger method right this is merger method so everything is taken over whatever that is there in the balance sheet everything is taken over in the purchase method what we used to do what all assets it is mentioned in the additional information what are taken over only those assets and liabilities we take it in this entry in the second entry yes those assets which have been taken over in the purchase method but here in the merger method the condition is there that everything should be taken over so whatever that is there in the balance sheet has to be taken over and the second condition is it has to be book values so we have to take all the book values in the second entry in the merger method but in the purchase method we take the agreed values okay that's the difference in the second entry and one more difference is there debit balance goodwill in the purchase method credit balance goes to where capital reserve in the purchase method in the merger method the debit balance goes to loss on merger and credit balance goes to profit on merger we'll come to that don't worry see here it's very simple one by one you are going to take all the assets premises plan and equipment furniture stock debtors bills receivable bank account yeah everything whatever that has been taken over see premises plan and equipment furniture and debtors bills receivable and there is some more also right which doesn't have notes inventory stock is there yeah so all the book values you have to take all the book values fine all the book values then what you have to do then you have to leave one line we, we don't know right whether it is loss or profit on merger so leave one line yeah we'll come to that later and then take over all the liabilities in the merger method we take over all the liabilities so see here we have got liability see here trade payable is there yes 10 lakh trade payable of y limited yes so now trade payable 10 lakh 
and then all the reserves also so what all reserves are there see here general reserve 1 lakh 50 take that then development rebate reserve 50000 take that export profit reserve 2 lakh take that surplus of profit and loss is there 3 lakh take that take all the reserves yeah 50000 2 lakh 1 lakh 50 3 lakh yes all the reserves i have taken development rebate reserve export profit reserve general reserve profit and loss all the reserves don't leave any reserve fine and then what are you going to do and then you are going to cancel the business purchase account because in this entry you are showing what assets and what liabilities you have taken over and at what values but in the merger method we take all the assets all the liabilities all the reserves at the book values fine so now what do we have to do here you said here in this entry you are accepting that you have purchased the business but what business mein kya hai? in that business there is reserves assets and liabilities yes so you have to cancel business purchase account here by crediting that account yeah you have to close that account and you're opening these accounts right you have purchased these things fine so here assets are getting debited because you are recording these assets in the books of x limited yeah in the amalgamated balance sheet so that is why you are going to debit these assets to record them and these liability and reserves have credit balance right so to record them you have to credit them to increase the liabilities and in reserves in your ex-limited company you have to credit them that is why i have credited the liability and the reserves all the reserves don't leave any reserves okay fine in the merger method yeah what most of the teachers they teach you know they tell the students that you have to take reserves over here general reserve if any balancing figure comes on the debit side or credit side you have to take to general reserve yes that's the same thing i'm doing but see here what we have to do first is you have to take loss on merger or profit on merger and then adjust that in reserves fine so we'll see that see here it's very simple so you understood right assets and liabilities and reserves and closing of business purchase account now what you have to do you have to see where balance is coming is balance is coming on the debit side matlab gap either are hai ya gap either are hai kidhar shortfall ho hai you have to see where the shortfall is coming is the debit side shorter or is the credit side shorter you have to see see here it's very simple first let's add up the debit side yeah all the assets see here 14 lakh plus 10 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 3 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 1 lakh that is equal to 32 32 lakh is coming all the assets fine remember that and then see the credit side see add up all this 10 plus 50 sorry sorry 10 plus 0.5 that is 50k right so 0.5 plus 2 plus 1.5 plus 3 plus 20 yeah 20 lakh right 10 lakh 0.5 lakh 2 lakh 1.5 lakh 3 lakh 20 lakh so that is equal to 37 so this side is coming 37 and this side is 32 so now this side is shorter which one debit side so if balance comes on debit side that would be loss on merger you have paid more than what you have got okay here what you do in merger method is see here in the purchase method what we used to do we used to compare the net assets asset minus liabilities yeah and we used to compare that with the purchase consideration what have we paid and what net assets we have got if we have paid more yeah if we have paid more then that would be loss yeah if net asset which we got is less and the purchase consideration which we have paid is more that means net asset is less than purchase consideration that means we have paid more so that's loss and loss would go to goodwill account yeah this used to be the debit yeah and then if net assets were more hame net assets zyada mile aur purchase consideration humne kam pay kiya yeah net assets zyada mile compared to the purchase consideration we paid yes if net asset is more than purchase consideration then that's called gain yeah and that's not a normal gain it happens very rarely right so that's why it is a capital gain so what you have to do is you have to transfer that to capital reserve yeah and this is credit balance yes on the credit side you have to show that in the purchase method but in the merger method you have to understand here we are also taking over all the reserves also yeah so we cannot compare the purchase consideration with the net assets hum nahi kar sakte kyunki idhar hum reserves nahi lete here we don't take reserves except the statutory reserves and separate entry we pass for that yeah either kya hota either hum reserves bhi le rahe everything is taken over assets liabilities reserves also yeah only share capital is left so that is why we have to compare the share capital yeah equity and preference share capital with the purchase consideration if we have more share capital of that company whichever we are acquiring 
yeah more share capital is there than the purchase consideration that is called profit on merger and we have to adjust that profit we have to transfer that profit to free reserves such as general reserve or profit and loss or if share capital equity and preference share capital is less than purchase consideration we are paying right whose share capital the company the old company the transferer companies yeah so if that is less than purchase consideration that is loss on merger we are paying more then the share capital then that's loss on merger and we have to write off that loss by using free reserves understood ye concept hai okay idhar kya karte hain net assets and purchase considerations are compared okay if net asset is more it is called profit and it will be transferred to capital reserve if net asset is less than pc purchase consideration then that's loss we capitalize that with the goodwill account and then in merger kya hota hai we are also taking over all the reserves so we cannot compare net assets and purchase consideration we have to compare share capital and purchase consideration yeah understood right so here this is what this is credit balance yeah this is credit balance and this is debit balance understood yes so see here what happened this side was 32 and this side was 37 so we are getting a shortfall a gap on the debit side of how much 37 minus 32 that is equal to 5 we are getting 5 lakh gap on the debit side that is called loss on merger so now that loss on merger 5 lakh has to be adjusted it has to be adjusted it has to be transferred not transferred it has to be written off with the free reserves of the company such as profit and loss and general reserve first priority is to general reserve second priority is to profit and loss okay see here how we are going to do that it's very simple you got this entry right so you have to write being all assets and liabilities taken over and we have loss on merger 5 lakh you can write that yeah then the third entry see here the third entry the third entry is see here we have to write off this loss ye loss hai na write off karna hai kaise free reserves use karke so simple this is debited over here you have to credit that 5 lakh understood ye either debit hai you have to credit that okay cancel the loss on merger you have to write it off so you have to use free reserves free reserves such as general reserve and profit and loss but how how are you going to use that is what you have to understand see here the first priority is general reserve second priority is profit and loss okay and then first you are going to use the free reserves of the old company then if it is not enough then the new company samjha pehle kya karna hai old company ke free reserves se write off karne ke liye jana hai वो इनफ नहीं होता है तो अब क्या करना है न्यू कंपनी या द ट्रांसफरी कंपनी का भी फ्री रिजर्व यूज करना है अंडरस्टूड दैट्स व्हाट यू हैव टू डू सी हियर फर्स्ट व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी इज जनरल रिजर्व सेकंड प्रायोरिटी इज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अंडरस्टूड सो हाउ मच कैन बी यूज फ्रॉम जनरल रिजर्व इन द ओल्ड कंपनी वी हैव वन लैख फिफ्टी जनरल रिजर्व सो वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख या वन लैख फिफ्टी इज देर सो वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख वी आर गोइंग टू यूज जनरल रिजर्व ऑफ ओल्ड कंपनी बट इट्स नॉट इनफ वी नीड मोर ओके देन सेकेंड प्रायोरिटी इज टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस so from profit and loss see here in profit and loss we have 3 lakh in the y limited the old company so we are going to use 3 lakh profit and loss understood 3 lakh but is it enough no 1.5 plus 3 lakh it is how much 4.5 lakh yeah 4.5 lakh that's not enough we need 5 lakh so 50000 aur chahiye maine bola pehle free reserves old company ka use karo agar enough nahi hota hai to new company ko touch karo use the free reserves of new company so in a new company see here they also have general reserve first priority is general reserve so use general reserve of new company they have 8 lakh of general reserve in new company use 50000 from there okay plus 0.50 lakh yeah 50k you can say that 0.50 lakh or 50k so 50000 will be taken out of general reserve of new company okay this is what you have to follow this chronology you have to follow understood first preference general reserve second preference profit and loss yes try using free reserves of the old company first if it is not enough use the free reserves of new company as well understood so this is how you have to write off the loss on merger okay simple right okay so done third entry being loss on merger written off and then fourth the last entry is you are going to make the payment understood if this would have been what purchase method then this 5 lakh it would have gone to goodwill understood yeah so now here in the fourth entry we are going to make the payment see it's very simple here we accepted that we have to pay to liquidator this person who is going to liquidate that company yes we hand over our pc purchase consideration to that person liquidator person so now here we accepted that our liability is increasing we have to pay due due we have to pay to liquidator but in the fourth entry 
we are paying off the purchase consideration so our liability is decreasing if liability is decreasing then you have to debit liquidator of our limited account debit to equity share capital what are you paying in what form are you paying that purchase consideration you are paying in form of equity shares of 2 lakh equity shares mein pay kar rahe ho okay the amount is 20 lakh the worth of those equity shares is 20 lakh understood so the entry would be very simple liquidator of y limited account debit 20 lakh to equity share capital 20 lakh simple right so you have issued the share capital if the issue was at more than the face value if the equity share capital this issue was more than the face value yeah let's say it was at uh, let's say it was at 20 rupees 20 rupees yeah more than the face value then another 10 rupees yeah another 20 lakh would have gone to securities premium understood that is what you have to be careful about okay don't take the entire issue price in the equity share capital no only face value will come here only only what only face value but in this question it is issue at the face value only the issue price and the face value is same yes so only 20 lakh will go to equity share capital account fine so now let's see the balance sheet that we have to prepare yeah the requirement see here drop the balance sheet so let's see the balance sheet now let's see how to prepare the balance sheet of x limited yes the transfer e company so it's very simple you don't have to look at the ledger account the realization account and all that okay you don't have to have any look in the books of y limited that you have prepared the ledger accounts yeah this is deleted you don't have to see that just see the question and the general entries and prepare this balance sheet so first you have to start with the notes to accounts first take note number 1 share capital that's the note number 1 right share capital shareholders funds share capital note number 1 so how did i get this 40 lakh see it's very simple what happened see in the question the ex limited already had 20 lakh capital yes so 20 lakh will already come over there yeah and the face value of those shares were rupees 10 each yeah so those were 2 lakh shares 2 lakh shares of 10 each of whom of ex limited right the transferi company but then what happened then transferi company paid the purchase consideration right in form of what in form of equity shares so it issued additional 200000 shares at rupees 10 2 lakh ke aur shares issue kare at rupees 10 so that capital is also of whom of x limited so that has to be recorded in the books of x limited right on the balance sheet of x limited so simple or new issue hua of 2 lakh shares So in total we have now four lakh shares of rupees ten each. Four lakh into ten that is forty lakh. Simple. Then note number two reserves and surplus. Now in reserves and surplus what you have to do this is merger method. All the reserves are taken over. In the purchase method only statutory reserves only are recorded. Yeah of the old company. But here everything is taken over. ये सब कुछ है ना बुक वैल्यूज पे टेक ओवर होते हैं इन मर्जर मेथड इन मर्जर मेथड एवरीथिंग इज टेकन ओवर एट द बुक वैल्यू सो सिंपली यू कैन ऐड दीज थिंग्स टुगेदर या सी इट्स वेरी सिंपल डेवलपमेंट रिजर्व एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉफिट रिजर्व या डेवलपमेंट रिबेट रिजर्व एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉफिट रिजर्व हाउ मच इज इट डेवलपमेंट रिजर्व सी हियर वन लैक एंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड या वन लैक एंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी के आई हैव रिटर्न ओवर हियर या एंड देन एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉफिट रिजर्व सी हियर इन एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉफिट हाउ मच इज इट थ्री लैक प्लस टू लैक सो थ्री एल प्लस टू एल थ्री लैक प्लस टू लैक फाइव लैक and then we have to come to general reserve and pnl so can we directly add general reserve and pnl here can we do that no we can't why because we have used already general reserve and profit and loss humne general reserve aur profit and loss kya kiya hai old company ka to pura khatam kar diya hai right we have used completely of old company gr and pnl yes aur nayi company ka bhi 50000 we have used 50000 general reserve isn't it so that is what we have to subtract samjha लॉस ऑन मर्जर को राइट ऑफ करने के लिए हमने फ्री रिजर्व्स यूज किए हैं जीआर और पीएनएल जीआर दो लाख से पीएनएल तीन लाख से तो वो माइनस करना है यू हैव टू सब ट्रैक दैट इट्स वेरी सिंपल सी हियर जनरल रिजर्व जनरल रिजर्व इज हाउ मच एट लैख प्लस वन लैख फिफ्टी एट लैख प्लस वन वन लैख फिफ्टी या वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख या माइनस टू लैख विच यू हैव यूज माइनस टू लैख विच यू हैव यूज टू लैख यू हैव यूज राइट सो माइनस दैट सो इफ यू माइनस दैट यू गेट सेवन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड simple see here i will show you 8 lakh where who's the transferee company plus the transferer company 1 lakh 50 1.5 that is equal to how much 9.5 lakh minus 2 lakh you have used that is equal to 7.5 lakh simple right so that is what and pnl also see here in pnl how much we had 6 lakh plus 3 lakh 
6 lakh plus 3 lakh and then you have used see the journal entry you have used how much you have used 3 lakh of profit and loss to write off that loss on merger so that is why minus 3 lakh so that would be 6 lakh simple now yes see here what happened loss on merger yeah loss on merger we needed 5 lakh yes we write off that loss by using free reserves so first you have to go for old company free reserves first priority is gr second priority is pnl so you used completely gr 1 lakh 50 of old company still not enough yeah then you use pl of old company fully 3 lakh still not enough you need 50000 more that 50000 more has to come out of new company's gr the transfer company the x company's gr general reserve yeah from 8 lakh you took out 50000 simple both simple right then reserves and surplus done yeah so you have to add up all this yeah see here 1 lakh 50 1.5 plus 5 plus 7.5 plus 6 that is equal to 20 lakh understood simple and then trade payables see here in trade payables nothing happened the company has just taken over the trade payables directly right so this is merger method trade payables is taken over at the book value itself yes so 10 lakh plus 10 lakh those two you have to just add them together yeah because in merger book value pe hi lete sab kuch so directly add kar sakte ho agar purchase method rehta to you have to see whether it is taken over at market value or book value yeah yes so 10 lakh plus 10 lakh that is 20 lakh simple trade payables 10 lakh plus 10 lakh 20 lakh yeah and then note 4 in note 4 what happened the assets tangible fixed asset yeah see here tangible fixed asset in the balance sheet what do we take first equity and liabilities shareholder fund share capital reserves and surplus we are done with that non-current liabilities there are none right no non-current liabilities are there so dash yeah nil and then current liabilities trade payables are there so note number 3 see here 10 lakh plus 10 lakh I told you right trade payables 10 lakh plus 10 lakh where is it yeah trade payables fine and then total is 80 lakh of liabilities liabilities are done so now in the asset side we have got two types of asset non-current asset current assets under non-current asset we have tangible assets yeah tangible fixed asset and then we have intangible assets so we don't have intangible here so leave that tangible fixed asset node number four see here what tangible fixed asset do we have tangible assets node number three premises plant and equipment furniture yeah so now here see here all the assets are taken over at the book values since this is merger method you can directly add these two together yeah 20 lakh plus 14 13 lakh plus 10 3 lakh plus 1 yeah do that simple premises 20 lakh plus 14 yeah 20 lakh plus 14 plant and equipment 13 lakh plus 10 lakh 13 lakh plus 10 lakh yeah furniture 3 lakh plus 1 lakh simple you get 34 23 4 lakh so that's equal to 61 lakh simple so you got the tangible fixed asset total 61 lakh take it to the balance sheet tangible fixed asset node, node number 4 61 lakh and then come to current assets in current asset what you have to take see here in the old balance sheet what you have in current asset inventory is trade receivable cash is there yeah so now you have to see go back it's very simple uh, notes right note 5 inventories stock go back to the question see here stock how much is it 5 lakh 3 lakh entire thing is taken over merger method at book values only so you can directly add 5 lakh plus 3 lakh 5 lakh plus 3 lakh 8 lakh simple and then note number six trade receivables right trade receivables so in trade receivables what do you have see the question trade receivables note number four sundry debtors and bills receivable yeah three lakh and two lakh two lakh and one lakh add those two together there is no change this is merger method everything at book value so that's why it's very simple the merger method sundry debtor three lakh plus two lakh bills receivable two lakh plus one lakh five lakh and three lakh done so if you add those two together that's eight lakh yeah and then at last you have to take cash and cash equivalents yeah the bank balance which you have so what is that see here note number seven cash and cash equivalents cash at bank so go to the old balance sheet the old, in the old balance sheet you can see here two lakh plus one lakh just add those two together two lakh plus one lakh all assets all liabilities are taken over at the book value so just you have to add them together only you have to do some adjustment in the reserves and surplus because of your writing of the loss yeah if there is a loss or if there is a profit then these reserves will increase agar loss hai to reserve kya hoenge? decrease hoenge because you have to write off the what the loss with the reserves agar profit hai yeah if there is a profit in the second entry yeah if there is profit here then reserves may jayega over profit so reserves will increase yeah but here there is loss you have to write off that loss here reserves will decrease you have to subtract yeah 
yes so what i said yeah this cash and cash equivalent 3 lakh 2 lakh plus 1 lakh that is equal to 3 lakh simple so this is how you have to do balance sheet very simple equity liabilities shareholder funds non current liabilities current liabilities in shareholder funds what is there see this shareholders rs yeah so that is reserves and surplus and sh share capital yes share capital reserves and surplus that's how you have to remember it non current current liabilities non current current assets yeah in non current asset what comes tangible intangible in current inventories trade receivable cash and cash equivalents that's how you have to do it it's very simple don't worry vertical balance sheet is just an illusion it's very simple it looks like it's very tough but it's not really yeah so this is how you have to do it understood yeah we have seen how to do the realization account yeah and there is no connection between the books of x limited yeah and the books of y limited this is entirely different here that methods and all are not applicable it is only applicable over here okay simple and you understood this also right how to do this purchase method and merger method while doing the entries yeah and sometimes they won't ask entries they might might directly ask you know directly balance sheet so then you have to do this little kind of working note to understand how reserves are used if there is loss on merger you have to see whether there is loss on merger now let for example let's say yeah let's say they you know they didn't ask you to pass any journal entries can you directly tell me whether it is loss on merger or uh, profit on merger can you tell me see here it's very simple what you have to do if they have not asked the journal entries then you will not prepare this just to know that whether it is loss on merger or profit on merger you will not pass the journal entry yeah not in rough also no you won't do that that's just waste of time what you have to do is just look at the share capital of the transferer company it is 15 lakh yes what did i say in merger method we compare share capital with the purchase consideration yes so share capital in the y limited the transferer company is 15 lakh and the purchase consideration which x limited is paying that is 20 lakh so difference is 5 lakh yeah what i told you if share capital is more that it's profit but here what is happening share capital is 15 lakh share capital is 15 lakh and purchase consideration is 20 purchase consideration is more share capital is less so that is called loss on merger 5 lakh is loss on merger you have to write off by free reserves understood you don't have to pass the general entries if they haven't asked you okay you can easily know whether it is loss on merger or profit on merger just by comparing the share capital and purchase consideration and which share capital you have to take of the what old companies if three or two companies are getting together yeah if it is what if it is merger yeah if two three companies are merging and one new company is forming then you have to see the total share capital of both the companies and purchase consideration okay that's how you have to do it okay in this question there is only one company that has been what liquidated to become part of another company yeah fine you understand that right yes so this is what you have to do easy right okay